All right, we're jumping right into it. We're uh, going on the e-bike, building some more jumps. Got the e-saw working today. Gonna go cut down those limbs. That way I can build that jump up a little bit bigger. Then I will go from there. We got Ryan on the pit bike, Bankus on the uh, Enduro DRZ. Maybe he'll let me try that again. Get me 100% convinced on getting a uh, Enduro because that thing was, that was fun, like the five minutes that I rode it. But it's a whole process getting your motorcycle license and going through all that. It's just a hassle to be honest. So we'll see what happens with that. But for right now, we're going to go cruise on for a little bit. All right. Well, I've literally been moving some stuff around for the past like hour and a half. So we got a bunch of trails to ride back to back. We don't got to keep riding one trail and then doing it again. So I just did it all or most of it. So head back. Put the saw away and we'll ride for a little bit. Ooh. from there more barbed wire is it in my wheel oh it's locked around the tire yeah. jeez oh what the oh there it is yeah, it's all up there. And I gotta be careful. Caught me. Good thing it didn't catch me and I flip over the bars right there. This is what this thing's perfect for, just cruising literally anywhere. Whoa, this is all new trail. Like 45, maybe 47. So not bad. Yeah. 
Oh, that's so fun to get dizzy though. <laughs> grass and ball tires don't mix. <laughs> Bailey's going for it on the DRZ. unpredictable like, though because like it's so heavy i don't know how far it's gonna go you know yeah it soaked it up pretty good thing. you know the what? suspension soaked it up pretty good yeah it wasn't bad well that was fun for a little bit perfect day out it was like actually nice today like 70. looks like my tire's flat All right, so a short little kind of cruise around adventure video yesterday. Um, we were, didn't really have a bunch of daylight as usual. By the time we get riding, by the end of the day, it doesn't leave us with a ton of time. But got out to ride a little bit. Hopefully we can all get out if it doesn't rain within the next few days. Go adventure some new places, build up some more jumps there. Spend like a decent amount of time and get that done. Like I've talked about with the pit bike, um, I got a bunch of parts in over here from uh, T-Bolt a while ago. I've kind of put it on the back burner, like I said. Um, they sent me basically all the parts to finally rebuild and fix up the pit bike. Um, it's been long overdue and needed. This thing is needs a bunch of work. Like I showed the, uh, if you guys haven't seen it, the rear wheels just shot. Um, the whole hub snapped in half on the inside. The brakes are shot, the chain shot. Everything's pretty much, doesn't have any brakes. Like the brakes don't work. The cable split right here from when Ryan actually um, had that fail video where he rode it up the ramp and the ramp slipped on the back of his truck. I'm sure a lot of you saw it and you didn't realize that it was um, in one of my videos and that was Ryan. So if you saw a video of a kid riding a 110 in the back of an F-250 and, and the ramp slipped up and hit him in the face, that was Ryan on this pit bike. So uh, I'm sure, like I said, a lot of you have no idea and you probably watch it. So because that video like blew up, it's got like 50, it's probably got like 100 million views total between all the pages that reposted it, probably more. So this thing's getting a little run over. Check up. This thing got destroyed in the year that I have had it. So this thing will be back running soon. E start on this thing finally works. Starts right up. I've missed this thing. I can't wait to get it going and we get that pitter track going. Should be pretty fun this summer. Like I've said, if you have not gotten your entries in to win the CR125, every $5 spent gives you one entry to win this thing. If you haven't seen it, you can watch the videos on the channel. You're not gonna find a CR125 cleaner um, all done off. The thing is immaculate. Way cleaner than if you were to even go buy it off the showroom floor. So if you wanna win this thing, the link's down below in the description to my website. Might be announcing a discount code on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan, along with the build page at Project Two Strokes. I might throw up a story post and give you guys a coupon code for Memorial Day. So if you don't follow me there, give me a follow uh, if you wanna potentially get like 20, 30% off your order. So, But for all of the orders today on Saturday, I'm giving away some unreleased hats, which got sent to me a while ago. So if you wanna win one of these hats, place an order today, and I'll randomly put these in two orders, and uh, you guys could have some unreleased hats. If you wanna win one of these, make sure you get your order in today and uh, I'll throw them in there. Finally clean up the garage too a little bit. Gets messy after like an hour working in here. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. Garage gets a mess if you do anything in it. Still gotta get the first, first ride on this thing um, on film. I just kind of pushed it off and I've been having a lot of fun on the e-bike recently and really haven't been to the track much, so should be out soon. But with that, if you guys are new and you wanna see more videos like this one, make sure you're subscribed, give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.